Hey, how's it going? I'm Robert. I'm back here. Uh, we just installed this new West controller. Took out that uh, old Honeywell. And uh, there's a couple programming things that uh, have to be done. Obviously, we're going to do some set point uh, for your temperature. But uh, it also says for anything that's using this uh, pigtails 10 and 11, which uh, just happens to be anything that is a solenoid oven. So you got the 360s any of the 360s, not the 360G, uh, but any of the 360s, the 570S, stands for solenoid, and any of the uh, PS200s, 200, 224, uh, those are all gonna have to be programmed. And we're just, I'm just gonna run through the instructions here how to program that, and then uh, we're gonna set the set point here and we're gonna fire this oven up and uh, the installation's done and we're ready to, uh, to move on. So first thing we'll do, we'll turn on the oven here, you see that we got power to it. So, first thing it says is hold down the scroll key and press the up key to enter the select mode. So I'm going to press the scroll key and the up button. Okay? I'm going to press the up key until it says setup. Setup. I'm going to press the scroll key to enter the unlock screen. Unlock. And I'm going to press the up key to enter unlock code 10. And I'm going to press the scroll key to proceed. Enter PVP is uh, There. And I'm going to set this to 0, 0.0. Right there. Lastly, I'm going to hold the star key for three seconds to return to the operator mode. One, two, three. Okay. So now we got it all programmed up. Last thing we have to do is uh, do the set point. I can hold it down, it'll move pretty fast. So let's just put it at 350. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat on. And we'll see if this thing will fire up. Okay, so our oven just fired. You see our set point up here. You see our actual temp as it's coming up. We'll let it get all the way up to 350. The last check we'll want to do is just uh, make sure that the uh, cooling circuit's working in the controller. We'll let it come up above uh, 200 degrees. And then we'll turn the heat off and we'll see if the blower will shut down after it's below 200. Two hundred degrees, blowers turn off, and you got a good install. Hey, how's it going? We uh, completed that installation. Uh, last thing we're doing here is we're just going through and making sure that this uh, controller is modulating properly. It's coming up to temperature and/or above a little bit. We see that our heat on light goes off when we're at zero percent. Okay, anything above zero percent. That heat light's going to come back on, and we're going to come back up to temp. So it just modulates. It goes a little bit over, and then it comes back down under. And 
So uh, we program it correctly, we got it all wired up, we are good to go here.